The situation continues to be that of concern in Tripura capital Agartala, where long queues could be seen outside petrol pumps for the third day in a row. The Tripura government has already rationed the sale of petrol. Well, uh, two wheelers have been allotted petrol up to rupees 200 per day, while three wheelers can fill petrol worth rupees 400. And for four wheelers, the limit has been capped at rupees 1000 per day. All right, uh, Pinaki Das joins me live at this point in time from Agartala. So, Pinaki, the situation continues uh, to be that of concern in Tripura. So, are there still long queues uh, could be seen outside petrol pumps for the third day today? Pinaki. Uh, well, Priya, uh, this uh, f uh, has really disturbed uh, everyone's life uh, because when there is a crisis, there is a panic attached with it. And, and petrol is uh, a necessity in everyday life and, and uh, you'll find in Agartala majority of the filling stations uh, don't have petrol they have put up the tag people are even making long queue even before petrol uh, entering the filling station when they get information uh, they are making a long queue uh, majority of the uh, filling stations are empty and few of them we found uh, uh, people waiting for petrol uh, and for people like us journalists also we are facing problem though we have managed somehow little but uh, for everyone that opportunity is not there people have to wait in long queue and government is totally monitoring but one good thing is that you won't find much black marketing uh, it has affected life uh, but still uh, things are normal as of now because uh, in, uh, there is no uh, dearth of diesel. Uh, it's only the petrol movement of people in in their two wheelers here, their comfort car that is getting hampered. Uh, normal movement is getting hampered. But uh, overall in Tripura also we have uh, CNG. Uh, also uh, most of the uh, auto service is based on CNG, which is locally available and diesel is available. So. That is a relief for the state, but hopefully by next two days, uh, the, the road connectivity, that is the rail connectivity uh, will be uh, in, in, in place and we hope uh, petrol will again start entering the state uh, through, uh, through, through coaches or, uh, or through train, uh, which now is being managed through tankers and that due to that, uh, the, the crisis is still there. Uh, Pinaki, the Tripura government has already rationed the sale of petrol. So are there enough stock for the next four days as reports are coming in that things are expected to ease in the next 48 hours? See, uh, the government, uh, uh, the minister himself had uh, announced that he had discussion uh, with the NFR uh, GM and and where the at war footing the work is going on in that patch in assam uh, where the uh, it has been disturbed uh, but uh, we hope things will improve uh, if you see into uh, other fuel crisis is not there it's only the petrol crisis uh, so so that is uh, affecting uh, but uh, when there is also crisis in diesel uh, which is uh, mainly used for transportation of, uh, of, of people long distance and also uh, for bringing goods and other uh, vehicles uh, then it really hampers in a bad it has a cascading effect on, on the price of commodities uh, but uh, here uh, is the movement that has been disturbed to some extent uh, but at the same time now with the introduction of as I say CNG vehicles uh, 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 it is to some relief to the state though Tripura is, is, is uh, very much acquainted of such crisis uh, because uh, in, in a year uh, especially during the rainy season we have been facing this problem even in last May month last May month we faced the same issue and even there were time when fuel had to be brought through Bangladesh uh, but this time we hope it will be short because the weather is not uh, uh, unfavorable. The weather is quite favorable at now and hopefully by next two, three days, uh, we hope uh, things will be in proper shape. Right. Uh, Pinaki Das, thank you so much for all those details.